Here they are. Hey. Oh my god. Welcome, welcome. Where's our lays? Where's our rum punches? <laughs> Where's the rum punch? Oh yeah. Your rum punch. <laughs> your rum punch. <laughs> welcome right. drink. <laughs> yeah. Phil's vegan, non-alcoholic. He's, he's a breatharian now. <laughs> <laughs> he's air. I'll do a gin and tonic for you. Uh, first off with the traps is actually the baths, just uh, 10 minutes out of Spanish town and just want to show them one of our favourite spots so far. Yeah, it's a beautiful morning. I wonder why they call them the baths. Why do they call them the baths, Des? Because they're they like a coral bath. baths. Yeah, they think the rocks are having baths. What are baths? Know, there are baths in the rocks. Ah. But wow, I want you to show us little nooks and crannies. Go down in the, between the rocks, bars, have a bath. Are you going to go and have a shampoo? Do your hair? No. Daddy, when are we going to get in the water at the bath? Hey, we're just having a relaxing breakfast. No, we're You're going to help relaxingly wash it up. Left the baths and Virgin Gorda, and we're heading down to Francis Drake Passage, heading for Norman Island. We're going to check out uh, Cooper Island first to see if it's uh, worth having, uh, yeah, just a more for the night. Now, the British Virgin Islands, very early on during the conquest of the New World, became British. The Spanish ignored it, apparently to the disparagement because. Then the Spanish treasure fleets plundering all that gold from the Incas would have to pass by the Virgin Islands heading back for Spain. And you had all the privateers, fancy naval state sponsored piracy. The privateers, like Sir Francis Drake, would hide in all these little coves. And when the treasure fleet went past, they'd pounce on them sink the ships all, of course they would first steal the gold and then uh, do what they want with the treasure ships. Was that your dad across the Atlantic, like that? Where you were there having cups of tea inside, he's no. shivering outside. He's feeling the Atlantic. And, 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 and,
take turns, like at night, staying awake? Do people take turns, staying awake? Once I did it. Once I did it. Really? You did it? Steve's going into the required reading. We're just passing is the caves. There's on a peninsula that separates the bike from our anchorage for tonight. Probably check out the caves tomorrow. There's especially good snorkeling around there. Well, this is Norman, Norman Island, part of the British Virgin Islands, and the actual US Virgin Islands border is just over there. And apparently, these caves around here are full of treasure, supposedly. That's why we're here, aren't we, Aiden? Yeah. Discover treasure. Yeah. Francis Drake used to hide in these small coves and attack the Spanish coming back from the New World. They plundered them and then they cut back into the caves and disappear so the mm. Spanish were left Sneaky. emptyless, pocketless and broke. And apparently Robert Louis Stevenson. Mm. Robert Louis Stevenson, did he write about it? Yeah, Treasure. well, this was the inspiration for Treasure Island. Treasure right? Island. Wow. So this is Treasure yeah. Island. Treasure um, Island. Could be. Sadly called Norman Island. <laughs> Robert Louis Stevenson's Norman Island didn't quite cut it, so they, Hollywood said change the title, it'll be a hit. <laughs> Need a rebrand. Which I caught. Oh, that's lucky. <laughs> terrible, but I thought, ooh, <laughs> I'm not sure, so I'll throw this ball. Yeah, 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 I'll throw the ball at the back and then I went. I should just put a vitamin E cream on. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. The, the best dress. She's off. <laughs> Trip. <laughs> The professional. <laughs> this is how you do it, girls. <laughs> Alright, Phil, put the camera away. Evening wear. <laughs> it's the <laughs> wet evening wear competition. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> <laughs> what a she was looking at the sunset and pointing and just went left. And she actually went, look at the sunset. Hey! And then I threw the wallet because I knew I was falling. So I went, what? <laughs> yeah, I didn't find that as well. Points one way and then oh pulls in. Gosh. Alright. Well, that was yeah, fantastic. that happened except in a marina. I thought this was going to be us every day doing that, not you. It's my time to
So I screwed things up a bit a few hours ago. We've got this strainer here which seawater comes through, it strains out all kinds of rubbish and then takes seawater into the engine to cool it down. Now we haven't been able to open this since the start. Two Volvo services and couldn't, they couldn't, couldn't open it, it so they gave up. So it's been basically filling up and you can see how much seaweed there is out there and it's just been filling up with seaweed. So I was a bit worried that it'd get blocked up and the engine would overheat. So I thought, well, this ain't gonna be viable for much longer. So firstly, I silicon sprayed, silicon sprayed around the edges just to lubricate it a bit. But then, before even trying it working, I tried to use this wrench and try and open it up. Wooshka. What happened was, I put a hole through that. Idiot. Now, it's based on a vacuum system, so you can imagine, it ain't gonna work. Now, the next thing I did was, I tried to open it by hand. Guess what, the silicon worked. So Elle's idea was to get some plastic strips from a plastic bottle and just glue them on. Now, we used super glue initially just to bed it down, and then Steve said, well, if you aryl dyed it, it'll actually set very well. So we've also been aryl dyeing it on this side, and it's worked beautifully. And we've also aryl dyed it on this side. On the inside too. And so we're about to put it on and see how it works. I've just put on a film of silicon around the edge just to provide a better seal, and I'm gonna put it on. Go well, strainer, come on. Okay. Well, the good news is it looks to be working. Feel like such things as walking in the country, drinking gin and tonic, and holding parts of his engine. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding his engine right now. That broke. <laughs> How'd you fix it, Phil? Mr. Fix It! <laughs> How'd you fix it? Remember, fix it, Phil. It's Fix It, Phil! <laughs> it's Fix It, Phil! Oh, look! We've broken the engine, what shall we do? <laughs> Phil! Where's the arrow die, Elle? Oh no! The boat's broken in half! <laughs> what shall we do? Arrow died! Arrow died! The mast snapped in two! What do we do? We arrow died it! <laughs> First have a gin and tonic, then arrow died it! <laughs> Well, with the sea strain out fixed, temporarily, if anything, and we're gonna keep a close watch on it all the time, see if there's any cracks forming, anything like that. But with that fixed, we are leaving Privateers Bay, and we are heading off to Jost Van Dyke. On our, on our port side is St. John's, which is part of America. So we are literally America, Britain. You shake the what? You put the lime in the coconut and shake it all together. Put the lime in the coconut. Give me one for the morning. Oh, I said, doctor. I got something better, I can see doctor. I needed need to take a see doctor. I got a belly, I can see doctor. <laughs> oh dear. The other reason we know the strainer is working, the sea strainer, is because there's seawater coming out of the exhaust. We're passing through some beautiful wild country between Norman Island and Joss Van Dyke. And we were just chatting about how different it is from our stereotype of the Caribbean, the flat islands, white sandy beaches, palm trees. So it's also these rugged hills and forests. So 
there's a lot of variety around here. As, as always, really nice not to know what to expect or to have some expectations and then find something that's completely different. There's a lot of eddies in this package. We've passed between Little Thatch Island and Tortola and it's very strange. There's a strong current and a lot of eddies in the water. Party, party, party. Oh, I love that, Rahalina. Look at that. Wonderful. Well, this is Foxy's, one of the most famous watering holes. If uh, not the world, at least the BBI's. I was like, mm, the drinks are very cheap today. All the way Two painkillers, please. Jess is making friends with the locals. And check this out. Mm. Pork ribs, Caribbean pork ribs. They look awesome. Mm. Ah, these are the best pork ribs ever. By a long way. Enjoying it guys? Yeah, did yeah. I say? Best pork ribs ever? Best pork ribs. <laughs> we can put our feet in there. Look <laughs> oh, it up. Very excited. So today I replaced my floppy moppy hair with some sassy short hair and <laughs> Helena and Des are going to cut it for me. And I'm going to colour it. Yay! I'm so sure I can't wait. Babies. Yeah, babes. Just let me... Can I have the brush, please? It's like you're the chef and you're the sous chef. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's that's chef, mom. Scissors. Comb. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. See you again. Yeah. <laughs> Confidence in your partner here. No, well, she's not a hairdresser, but she's very good. Yeah, it's fantastic. She's actually very good, but you know. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh. She's been watching Gareth in the mirror, I reckon. Getting her hair cut. Hair. For your payback, um, it's getting eaten. No longer eat my hair. hair. You it. deserve to get eaten. I love it. I need you, Melon. Yay. Whoa. I got some salt water, natural juice from swimming in salt water. They said that ah. Oh, well, she, she grabbed for the nipple. <laughs> a nip grip. We could do it without the hook. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. It's impossible last one. Bye. Interesting parts of the hurricane. 
came um, was the wind was coming out of the north. And we're protected by the mountains behind us, right? Yeah. But if we stood in the backyard, which we did with my 12-year-old son, and you looked at the top of the hill, you could see sometimes a tree come flying over the hill wow. and land on this side. Okay, So you knew that on the other side it was really windy Ooh. because you'd see a complete tree yeah. come bloop, 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 and then fly over the hill and land somewhere down on the hillside on this side. Right? So, so and then, even neater, was it was raining, right? but the wind was coming from that side and there's these big cliffs on the north side of Joseph Van Dyke. So the waves were crashing up against that making the spray and the spray couldn't fall back down so it was being lifted up. It was coming over the hilltop so like and, it was water and it made a salt water rain here. Oh. So if you held out a fish? cup, no fish, you would get any airborne <laughs> fish. But if you held out a cup in the rain here at Foxy's, okay, and drank it, it was ocean. Wow. Okay, that had been lifted up a thousand feet to the top of the hill and then fell over here when the wind was less. And then at about, maybe about two hours before the eye, because we didn't re weren't yeah. really experiencing that much wind here. We were still protected. But then you could see the wind hitting the middle of the bay. And then you could see it coming down and hitting closer. Oh. And then it finally turned. Okay, and once it yes. turned, because the wind was coming over the hill this way, oh. and then hitting the bay. Oh. Right. And, then, and then at some point, it's going to turn. And then once it turned, it started turning like a big oh. wheel, a wheel of wind. And so in like five minutes, we went from being just like little dusts coming in here to winds of 110 miles an hour coming in, like that. The strongest, the strongest wind was 195 miles per hour. That's right. According to my book, and it stayed, and it stayed 195 miles per hour for 36 hours. Uh, not so much here. Here oh. it kind of no. Here it kind of happened all fairly quickly. Yeah. So where okay. were you in preparing the first for that half, bit? No, the first half we were right here. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we were yes. videoing yeah. and posting. We were live streaming. Um, <gasps> to YouTube and, and our website and stuff like that. And uh, so, I mean, you could see the wind start, and then when the wind turned and started coming in, that's when we all bugged yeah. out. So I'm guessing that sail there is new. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. All the sails are new. The flags um, whatever, are new. Whatever trees you might be seeing are pretty new because there used to be a lot more trees. There were palm trees all up and down the bay. Um, so that was probably one of the biggest things um, that you mm. felt afterwards yeah. was that there's, there's no tree, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we've planted all these palm trees. As a matter of oh, fact, that's fast. we've got a whole bunch of palm trees. If you guys want to take palm trees with you and plant them somewhere, that's a great project. Yeah. And then take, do you have a handheld GPS? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, when you guys plant a tree, oh. we will do that. Okay, take a GPS spot. And yep. then when you're grown up, yes. Okay, you can come back with your favorite yeah. girlfriend <gasps> and see if you can find that that's same so tree. That's beautiful. Let's do okay. it. All right? Good. So you guys can do that, okay? Yeah, you're the apprentice. This is my new boss. I'm not leaving. I'm staying right here. I'm going to help out. Okay. You know, your new role. You know, bartender. Ooh, that's so nice. Bartender in BBI. I'm quite good at maths. I'm going to teach at the school maths. Hey, you're I mean, going to work? I'm pretty good at maths. I'll teach at school, uh, maths at school. Then right. afterwards, I'll come here and serve the beers. Okay. I love it. <laughs> All right, we're staying put. I love this vibe. Right. <laughs> it just built up, you know. That's right. Three stories high. Got there. Mm -hmm. fry it and you just eat it. You just nibble it. Mm. Like a pottery. Oh, there we the go. Fire and it bakes inside the wow. that's, the, that's the spine. Look, the whole. I wonder what's the chef. Dunno. Actually, I'll rather have it. Mm. I mean, I could just eat that as a snack. Maybe you put your hand up. So we want a change of scene, so we've headed across to the far east side of Joss Van Dyke. 
just off the island of Little Joss Van Dyke and Sandy Spit. As you can see, it's uh, yeah, it's beautiful. There's a bit of a break over there. So I'm gonna go check it out. It looks slightly rocky, but man, it's been a while, so it's probably worth it. A while? Don't this would push. be the first time Don't push, on the whole trip. Just Van Dyke, we are back to Tortola and Road Harbour. Unfortunately, Stephen, Helena, and the kids are flying back up to Miami to visit Florida for a few weeks. That's putting the front one out. Take a look at the front one. It's coming out. Oh. the islands. I'm just looking out for the changes in current and ch changes in the wind but I'm not stressed it's all new. We we're planning on heading into Village Key just outside of Broad Harbour but it's a mess no one's responding nothing. Uh, sun sail was full unfortunately even though they're looking pretty schmick. So we've just headed down the coast to Nanny Key and they are a pleasant surprise. They're very responsive, they're very clear in the communications. So yeah. Oh, that looks beautiful. Let's go there. To celebrate getting into probably the only working marina in the BBIs, Els made us some smoothies but we thought oh and Aiden as well and but we thought it needs a bit of a uh, kick I so, feel special yeah this is the rum that we got at the end of the arc <laughs> so yeah we're throwing a bit of that in oh and it is strong <laughs> <laughs> and it's probably the most popular bar in the BBIs. What are we getting? Uh, some beer and um, I don't know if they just have snacks like um... Well, are you wanted? It's always what happens when someone's yeah. hiding their face. They're illegally in the... That was quite a stressful entry to the marina. We first went to the old part of the marina. They didn't tell us that our berth was in this new uh, bit that isn't even on our chart. So anyway, we got in. Also a little bit stressful coming in and where I've got to go forward to reverse, there's a sunken yacht with just the mast sticking up. So there's still quite a lot of recovery to do around here. Anyway, we're now in, we're relaxing at the bar and just picked up the Wi-Fi, which the code is FU Irma. They, they all have it. FU Irma. Have a great time, the rest of it. Yeah, same. Right back at you. Yeah. Well, 
sadly we've left Steve and Helena and the girls. They're back to USVI and their trip to the States. We are on our way to Norman Island. So that's where we were a few days ago with them, but we're going back to a different part, the Bite. Apparently beautiful beach and Willie T's, one of the iconic bars in the Caribbean.